Hi everyone, welcome back to the uh, Java Day 12 session. Uh, this is going to be the last session from the Java tutorial series. And uh, today we will be learning the last remaining topic which is map collection. In our previous tutorial we learned about uh, the set collection and uh, from hash set, uh, set is a collection which is implemented into <coughs> hash set, linked hash set and tree hash set. So hash set is just an unordered collection. Linked hash set preserves the order of insertion and tree set is sorting those elements um, automatically as soon as you add an element. Now let's talk about a map. I'm creating a new uh, class. So let's say example one. Okay. Let's talk about this first. So uh, we are we already covered all of these topics so far, and now we are learning map collection. So from map collection, we will be actually covering two collections. One is the hash map, second one is the tree map. And uh, let me tell you guys, what is a map? Map is actually a key value pair, you know, storage. You know, it's a collection with key. value binding, you know, that way. All right, so we have some key and that key is associated uh, with some value, you know, every key has some value. So I want to main method first. Let's wait for that uh, automatic code generation. And here I will write my code for Oh, what I'm writing, sorry. So I want to create object of a map, you know. As we discussed, there are two maps. Uh, map is the interface which is implemented into hash map. So let's talk about hash map first. So I'm creating hash map, which is the most common and popular uh, collection. So for every collection, we have specified the data type in the triangular bracket, right? In the angular bracket. So here also, we have to specify the val data type of a key and the data type of value. K stands for key, V stands for value. So the data type of for key is, let's say, uh, it's integer. You cannot simply write I and T because collection only works on the classes. So the class name for integer is integer. And for uh, value, I want to store, let's say, student name, you know. Okay, student data is equal to new hash map. All right, so I got that hash map created here also you need to, uh, it is always good practice to give the value. So I'm saying integer comma string. All right. Okay, I have the hash map object now. Now as I said, hash map is a collection of key and the value. So the key is integer and the value is string. What I'm going to store in this hash map is the roll number as like a key and the value will be the name. Okay, so let's say there is another student with different roll number and uh, with a different name, you know. So this is how I want to print the data. Oh, I want to add the data into my map collection. So I'm saying student data dot add Oops, sorry, it is put, my bad. So you have to say that student data dot put, okay? Because I'm putting key and value. So the key I want to put is 101, and the value I want to put is Vikas Tange at that place, all right? Let's add few more examples. Let's say student data dot put One zero two, roll number, and the name is Prajakta. Oops, it has to be in double quote. Gavde. All right, so that's one. Another example. Oops, sorry. Student data dot 
output 103 and the value is let's say 4an Patel okay so I have uh, three records so far added let's say I wanted to check how many elements are there okay now uh, very important uh, let's find out what are the different methods available because for a list we had a get method that was returning some value based on the index number for a set we don't have any get or some you know uh, method which actually returns your direct value you have to use some iterator okay you have to use iterator or you have to use for each loop you know that way so on map let's try to find out what are the different methods available the first is get okay we say get and there you have to type the key you know for me for my uh, collection the key is integer so integer if I'm saying that get 102 that get will be returning a string value which is associated for key 102 all right so I will just print that you know system dot dot println and inside that I will say 102 roll number comma and dash string concatenation that means plus and that's it oh I forgot one bracket yeah that's it so this is a simple program you know so we have a map hash map and in that hash map I'm just putting the value uh, 101 102 103 these are the keys actual values are Vikas Tange, Rajakta Gavde, Farhan Patel and to the next line I'm just trying to read the value 102 okay let's give a run run as Java application and you can see that you know 102 roll number is giving me a value Rajakta Gavde perfect so you know this is how it works you know hash map stores key and value uh, key and the value uh, you know uh, and we just say put method to add key and value and there is a get method where you need to pass the key it will return you the value now there are few questions around this uh, hash map you know very first we will talk about the different methods available one thing is contains key you just pass on that key for example I will contains key and 103 I will say it will tell me whether that key is present in my map or not okay by returning boolean so if it is returning boolean true that means yes that map is containing a key if that uh, contains key is returning false it means my map do not contain the key there is another method values okay so values what it does is it actually converts you know it returns collection of string all right so uh, it is returning a collection of a string that's uh, very generic but um, you always remember when you say values it is going to return only values not the roll number you know it will only return the name not the roll number because it is just a values there is a remove you can pass the key and that value will be removed from hash map there is an entry set entry set is used for iterating uh, I will cover that uh, you know once we cover up the basic method is empty will return true if that uh, map is empty or it will return false key set key set will return you uh, the set of integer that means the set of keys all all the keys you know now for example uh, what I will do is I will take the set of key set you know let's say set because key set returns object of a set collection So I will say set of integer because all my keys are integer oops what happened to this okay first you have to import set so I'm saying control space enter so as you can see that uh, import line is added here and the data type is integer all I will say all keys is equal to from that collection from that map student data dot 
I will say key set. Oops. So I got all the key set. Now what I can do is I can actually write for each loop. So I'm writing for each integer uh, the variable name you can give anything. I will give proper variable name as a key and I will just print the values. Now I have a key, right? I have a key. So using this key you can actually fetch the value from uh, your map collection. Okay, so I'm going to say student data dot get and let's fetch, you know, pass on the key. So the key is this one, you know, that key is act automatically coming from all keys. I'm just passing that keys to the get method and get method will return me the value and that value will be printed. All right, let's give a try. So you can see that Vikas Thangye project of Aran Patil is printed. It's because first we got all the keys and then we iterated over the collection. Okay, so this is one option you can iterate over a collection. Though there are multiple options you can use. But yeah, this is like more common and um, simple approach because we know right set. In the last session we have learned set, right? So yeah, that's one. Let's find out a few more methods. Student data dot. Okay, compute, uh, I don't know. I will only talk about those methods which are really used very frequently. So contains key. Previously there was a, uh, oh, I think we covered that contains key, right? Contains key. Yeah, contains value is also there. Let's say you wanted to check whether uh, your hash map is containing a value. You can use that one. Uh, entry set, as I said earlier, this is used to iterate. Then hash code, again, few methods are there, you know, very common like get class and this. Get or default. So get or default, it will try to fetch the value, you know, try to fetch the value with a key. But if that key is not present, then it will return the default value. It will not throw the exception or will not return you null. All right. Then there is a merge also, but we rarely use this methods. Put all is also there. Let's say you wanted to put multiple uh, elements at a time, you know, just like an add all, there is a put all. But put all always take map of, uh, you know, key and value map. All right. Put if absent. Let's say if that key is not present, then only put. If the key is already present, then do not override or replace the value. So the method is put if absent. Okay. Remove is there, which takes a key. Remove is there, which takes key and value. If both are matching, then only remove. All right. Uh, there is different variations in uh, replace method is also there. Okay. There is a replace method. And values is again, uh, I think we already talked about it. It returns collection of string. It will only return the values. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, one more thing. We have learned one th one thing that like uh, how to iterate over a map collection. There is one more, as I said, entry set. Okay, so student data dot just say entry set. Now what entry set is returning? Entry set actually returns set of entry integer and string. As you can see that you know set of entry of integer comma string. So there is an entry. Uh, I I think it's interface maybe yeah I guess so let's see so it is going to return a set but the set is of what type it is not normal set generally we use set of integer set of string but this is set of entries all right so I will say entry set that you have to take it in set collection set okay and this is what set of entry e n entry oops you can see that entry it's a interface it is an interface coming from jaw.util map okay just double click here and now you have to specify the key uh, data type and the value data type so my key data type is integer and the value data type is string all right now just declare you know uh, i will say entries 
entry is equal to fine so I got all the entries and this is uh, this entry you can use for iteration so you know right how to iterate over a set so just write a for each loop you know the best option is using a for each loop or you can use uh, iterator you know it is up to you you can use the iterator as well let me show you using an iterator so entries dot iterator you know it will return iterator of entry of integer string all right for you it may sound little bit complex but guys trust me it's not that complex it just so many classes we are going to use so I will say ITR ITR equal to semicolon and this is not integer this is this has to set oh not again a set what was that so iterator returns iterator returns cannot convert from iterator oops my bad it's a iterator iterator from jar.util okay now I have a iterator on this iterator the, there are two most important methods we already have learned iterator I think that we learn in the list collection so there are two most important method first method is has next so you can say while there is a next element itr dot has next okay has next till the time just keep on reading so I'm saying entry okay I will read itr dot just call next so next will return that you know uh, that element that value actually and what this next is going to return this next is going to return entry of integer and string so let's declare that entry of integer and oh sorry string let's say I will say entry all right, so I got that one entry by saying iterator dot next it will return me entry of integer and string so that is the one entry coming from uh, hash map and I will just print that as well so okay so uh, you get different methods for example you can also read the key let me type that first so you can say get key okay entry dot get key it will return you that integer key part and string concatenate plus sorry plus was already there oops entries not entries it is just entry dot get value perfect okay so this is the way you can use iterator for iterating over a collection hash map okay <clears throat> so the entry set returns the set of entries set of entries and again this is a set right on a set we can actually uh, oh, you know directly write a for each loop that is one option another option is you can use the iterator that iterator will return you the object of iterator I'm saying iterator dot has next it will return true if there is a next element available and iterator dot next is going to return the present uh, you know element or what whichever the next element is you know that way so this will actually return the object you know not hash next so I got that entry object on that entry object you can call get key and get value method and that's all this is how you can iterate over a hash map collection okay this is the outcome which I just now wrote so there is a key dash dash value key dash dash and value that's how it is printed okay perfect now let's move on to the next example we are done with the hash map many of you must have observed now hash map internally uses internal uses hash hash set okay the hash set is used as a key is in hash map all right so I'm creating a next example saying example 2 is it already there the name is empty oh I gave a package name sorry
All right, I created a main method and inside that main method, this time I will create a tree set. Sorry, I will use tree map. Okay, tree map of let's say string and string. Okay, let's say string and string or you can say that um, you can also give your own class name as well if you want to. So, but I'm right now I'm saying string is the key and string is the value. All right. And uh, let's say I will say map is equal to new tree map and oh don't forget to give the data types here. If you don't give a data type that means you are making making it generic you can add any kind of data that we don't want you know. So map dot put it's very easy okay key is string and the value is string. So what I will do is I will put key as Mumbai and Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra state Maharashtra okay another example is let's say map dot put Bangalore Karnataka okay so uh, like the same way you can add uh, multiple entries so I have a map with key and value pair and here again working with tree Tree map is very easy. Let's say I wanted to read, uh, you know, uh, the state name of Bangalore. I think this is right. Okay, I wanted to read the state name of uh, capital Bangalore. So it's very easy. I will just say map dot get, and there you have to pass the key. All right, let's run this code. And yeah, it is returning me Karnataka. So yep, it is working. And how to iterate, you know, iterating again, very easy. There are two options. One option is, yeah, but one more thing guys, um, what I will do is, I will get the keys, all the keys, you know, I wanted to read all the keys. So I'm saying map dot key set key set is a method which returns set of string so it is actually returning all the keys so it is returning set of string I'm saying all keys equal to map dot key set so I got all the keys from my map that means Mumbai and Bangalore let me print that keys okay I'm just printing all the keys okay and see the order now the order is Bangalore and Mumbai the reason is you know how many of you know the reason for those who attended the last session should be able to answer this question Yes, very good. Trees are sorted. So, Raj, you, are, you are asked a question. What is the difference between hash map and tree map? And you know the answer. The tree are sorted. So, that's the answer. Okay, that's the difference between hash map and tree uh, map. So, tree map stores that key into the sorted order. Perfect. So, I'm just printing that key. Uh, that is a Bangalore and Mumbai. And that is getting printed. And you can see that Initially, I added Mumbai first and then Bangalore. Uh, and the, uh, when you try to get the keys and print the keys, you can see it is sorted. Raj, it depends on you when to use it, you know. Uh, it depends on you. Uh, whether you wanted to sort some data based on a key and then fetch the value, you know, this kind of mechanism, you can go with a tree set. 
Perfect. So this is uh, another simple example. If you want to iterate, you can use set collection for iterating. So I have all the keys. I'm going to say for each key. And there I'm just writing system.println. Uh, let's say city. City means the key, right? And I want to print state for that key is I have a map object and I have keys, right? So from that map, I will say get and I will pass the key. So map dot get there you have to pass key. Perfect. So if you want to have a look into this code, you can go ahead and look. So this is a key, you know, that key I'm getting it from all keys. This is for each loop. We already have covered it in previous tutorial. And this is map dot get key, you know, where I get value, sorry, map dot get only and there I'm passing uh, the key. Perfect. So let's give a try. And that's it. So city is Bangalore, state is Karnataka, city is Mumbai, state is Maharashtra. And is, you can see that uh, these values are sorted with respect to the key because it is a tree map, not a hash map. So that's all from uh, the maps topic and that completes, you know, uh, the collection. So yeah, this was very short session today um, because we just had one topic remaining that is tree map and hash set. Thank you. Thank you very much for attending. We can have a question and session now as we are completed, you know, with the complete Java. You can have any questions on Java or anything. Thank you. Thank you guys for attending this session.